Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to take a look at this new mythic Aguara and how we can one shot explore 12 using this troop. Really like it a lot. Really, really cool mythic, this one. Spirit Gardens is a spell. Choose one. Give eight mana to all allies and bury them. That's actually quite a handy part of that spell. We'll come to that in a second. Or give magic based amount to all skills on all other allies. The traits are Fox Cunning, start battles with 25% mana, Agile, a 20% chance to dodge skull damage, and Ancestral Spirits, create one spirit gem when my turn begins. So nothing too fantastic about the, the traits, but that spell is something else. And we'll look at that in a, a team. So basically, the options are that give 8 mana to all allies and, and bury them, or give magic based amount to all skills on all other allies, means with two of these in the team, you could actually have them sort of feeding into each other if you want to do it that way. Or you could use the Empress if you have the Empress. She gives magic plus one to all skills on the last ally with a 7% chance of an extra turn for each green gem on the board. And she also grants a random status effect to a random ally when an ally casts a spell. So in a way, that's actually like a really good choice because the fact she only uses six mana means that when we cast this, if Empress was empty, when you choose that first option, for example, it would actually fill her up absolutely straight away. And there are times you may want to actually do that because the fact that it gives a barrier to all allies, including itself, when you do that, means it's a kind of natural defense against itself. Because this is a really good troop for powering up uh, something like a Stellarix because it gives the, the massive boost to all skills on the last ally. So Stellarix is magic is damage is going to go absolutely through the roof and be absolutely filth uh, if you don't have stellarix you can use something like a darbentina you can use a cosmic dragon a gem dragon whatever you like any damage to all troop is going to be really good so we can use our wand of stars as a mana generator we'll get that ready to go pretty quickly because we can be in a geomancer class where we get a 50 percent start with a mana and we also get stuff like Rock Solid, which is nice as well, and a Tree of Knowledge. So we'll cast that. We'll get that charged up nice and quick. And then basically cast the Empress first. That's going to boost up Aguara. Then it gives even more to the skills on all other allies. We cast that. Stellarix is then cast, and we'll do absolutely nuts damage. And wipe out Explore 12 in a single cast. The banner for this, I'm still going for the Maze banner, even though a few of our troops use a purple. Because... Plus three red, plus two green. You can't ignore that. It's just so good. Right, so let's jump into a Explore 12 then. See what we can do. Got two times Nysha, one times Arnu for this to give our mana hungry troops a bit of a head start in mana. Stellarix and Aguara, you need quite a lot of mana between them. We'll grab any four matches though, which come along. Very handy indeed. That's got our wand ready to go right away. There you go. One is such a good mana generator, it just gets the mana ready really quickly. It can fail sometimes, but it works most of the time. Right, so right now, my Stellarix is doing a mere, a meager 141 damage to all enemies with a boost of 32. And we get a plus 45 to all skills from the last ally to the last ally from the Empress. And Aguara currently gives 35 to all skills. So we'll cast our Empress first. 50-50 chance of an extra turn. We got it. This is now giving 69 to all skills. Where Stellarix now does a whopping 348 damage to all enemies with a boost of 36. Above and beyond what I need to wipe out Explore 12 in a single cast. One shot Explore 12. Really, really cool. Obviously, it will depend upon your magic level. If you can do that or not. You may have to take off the Medal of Arnu, stick on the... Extra Medal of Nysha to get even more from that. There we go, ready to go again. So we cast that. We cast the boost. We cast Stellarix. It's not bad. I'm not sure if it's as fast as the fastest Explore 12 teams out there, but if you haven't got those troops required to do those other teams that are really mega fast as well then this one's here right now and it definitely it can be used so oh lots of purple and yellow this is where you can actually risk casting this second option sometimes because that bottom troop uses a purple and yellow therefore it's a good way of getting it charged up right so here we go let's cast our empress let's cast our foxy thing 
and Stellarix. Three out of three, one shot, they explore twelves. Being really careful not to press the buttons too many times. I think jamming on the buttons after a win seems to be one of the things that seems to be activating the the crash of the game. Quite a lot of people from our guild have noticed that. If, as soon as you win, oh, just notice they've got one failure there. I have one failure. This is surely not good. Uh, let's get our mana normally. Oh, what? Must have gone minus one purple. Oh, yeah, I've got, yeah, of course I have. got the maze banner, haven't I? Ah, my bad. That was slow because it was my fault. I didn't actually... I forgot I had minus one purple because of the plus three red and the plus two green that you get from the maze banner. Make sure you've picked that second option. Caboosh them all out of there. In one mighty great caboosh. Mini boss. Not going to make any difference. Your magma rage is going to pale into insignificance next to my mighty hairy fox thing. Not a clue. Alright, let's go wand. Yeah, let's go wand again. We're both ready. Good chance of an extra turn here. Yep. Let's give that a second option. And cast a Stellarix. Well, that's rather groovy. I mean, if you haven't got the Empress, but you manage to pick up two of these, it's going to do a very similar effect. Because basically, you can you can tag team uh, two of those uh, Guaras, and you can have them any way you like. Because with two of them in a team, because uh, it does it to all other allies, it will still pump up one of your Aguaras. It's a funny word. I feel like I'm saying something like that with a, like a mouthful of cheese or something. Uh, -da -da, one of them. And one of them. So yeah, that's rather groovy. One shot in Explore 12 with room to spare at the same time. Yeah, rather cool and mythic this one. So I think it's going to be pretty cool in a lot of other teams as well. I'm going to look at that in the future. Because if I had to can bump up all the life and armor, the attack as well, can make it really irritating for certain PvP teams. But there it is, there's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, it'd be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.